Hello. My name's Rachel and I am here working at home in London and I'm going to be doing a drawing challenge with you today and in fact it's probably more of a collage challenge. Um, I've been thinking quite a lot about two things. Um, one is the kind of ways in which um, living things manage to flourish and thrive even when they are uh, under containment um, and the other is to try and think about ways in which we can break out of roles that we think that we're supposed to be um, fulfilling or roles that have always been there. And I'm thinking a lot about the Black Lives Matter movement and ways we can kind of decolonise our, our kind of thinking. Um, and I've prepared for you a series of um, templates um, which I am aiming to use as kind of um, almost like backdrops uh, to collage onto. And these are informed by the idea of glass and about being behind glass. Um, this is a window of the bedroom that I spent the predominant part of lockdown in. These are just some digital drawings I've done. Um, this is a diagram um, of an object called a Wardian case, which is how plants are used, uh, how plants are transported, sorry, um, from all sorts of different environments, taken out of their environment, effectively stolen, um, and then kind of put into new habitats. Um, and other things that plants have facilitated, this, this is a picture of a Petri dish, <laughs> um, and this is a, um, a telescope. So with the invention of glass, we obviously had the opportunity to look close up into things uh, and also far away. And there's definitely something about being at home uh, or about thinking about your role um, as, as a part of society when you're kind of stuck inside. Um, so I wanted to use these and sort of disobey them. Um, and I've, what I'm suggesting you do is bring any materials you have whatsoever um, that you can chop up and a pair of scissors um, and some glue. <laughs> glue. So yeah, with collage, what you're aiming to do is make lots and lots of shapes that you can then uh, kind of go wild. And I kind of like the idea that, um, that things that are alive are kind of too unruly in a way um, to be contained into these kind of systems, these potentially kind of violent historical systems. Um, and feminism and queer studies and post-colonial studies have all taught me that there are ways in which you can kind of break out of these devices. So I've sent you these as a PDF. Um, if you're not interested in these, I encourage you to perhaps use a pen and draw, maybe draw the window that you can see in the room. Um, and that can become a guide onto which to collage. Um, and I'll work alongside you. And I've got, I've got various things lying around, um, loads of crap, basically, um, to use to collage. Uh, some of which include these different like sticky tapes which can be used to make mark making, um, like really rubbish magazines that you get through the door. Um, what have I got? Old books. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, I'm, I'm gonna work on the idea of plants and containment, but um, it might be that you're interested in um, sort of drawing any other life forms really. Um, so I suppose the principle is Something constrained with tight graphic lines. Um, you know, grab a pen if you want to draw your own thing. Um, and then basically just go outside the lines and use it as an opportunity to kind of, um, yeah, break out slightly of these kind of systems, these outdated systems of containment. Yeah, so I'll, show, I'll, I'll join in with you and I'll be doing some drawings and I'll also. Um, I'm going to stick up some pictures actually of artists whose work I think is great. Um, so, and the other things that you can also stick, of course, when you're using collage, I've got some plants, 
Um, whilst in lockdown I've made a kind of rudimentary flower press. Uh, so I've been collecting some leaves. Um, maybe they might work well to collage. Here's a kind of slightly dead looking poppy but that might start to, I might start to build into that. Um, yeah, so I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what you can do either to, um, to use or not use the, the diagrams that I've kind of um, started with. If nothing else, I had a really fun time <laughs> making these digital drawings. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can share together some of the different collages that we've made um, and you can enjoy kind of cutting up and sticking whatever you have lying around. One thing I've got, which I will add, which I'm looking forward to using, is um, I've got loads of this plastic sheeting um, and I'm kind of looking forward to kind of working back into the sort of window or glass part of the drawing um, as a kind of layering device. I haven't done that before. Um, so yeah. <laughs> See how it goes and we'll check back in soon.